Hi, I'm Tom and this is Emma and we're from Rose Bay High School and we're here today talking to Adam Clydesdale, a teacher at Rose Bay High School. So what's your role here at Rose Bay High School? I'm Head of Health and Physical Education. So what does a typical day look like? A typical day for me at Rose Bay High can be very varied. Um, I teach a lot of different classes, so it could range from Grade 7 Health teaching about sexuality in the morning to in the afternoon teaching a Grade 9, 10 Sports Science class about what's coming up for the Olympics, for example. So what's your favourite part about being a health and physical education teacher? Okay. As we already touched on, I like the variance in the day and all the different things that you can do, the different people that you interact with, um, ranging from, as I said, grade 7s right through to grade 10s. I've taught in other schools um, where you teach kindergarten children and I guess the opportunity to educate children in the right way and hopefully get them to have a lifestyle that's full of uh, physical activity and they continue it for their whole lives and, and try and send them on that path is what I like doing the best. So what are some opportunities about teaching that people may not realise? I think once you gain a teaching qualification, I guess the whole world sort of opens up to you. A lot of the people that I went through university with didn't go on to become health and physical education teachers. Um, they've gone all around the world. They may be ski instructors in Canada or, for example, I know a guy who now captains um, motor yachts in the Mediterranean. Uh, it, it gives you lots of opportunities, I think. One of the main things is you're, you're really confident dealing with and interacting with different people and this really opens up what you can do with your life. What experience and education do you have? I guess in terms of experience I've always been interested in teaching and, and coaching. In terms of education I took a bit of a, a long path to get to physical education. Uh, I started off whenever I left school um, doing law. I uh, found after three years of undertaking a law degree that it wasn't really for me and then I returned to what I always wanted to do which was health and physical education teaching and I did a Bachelor of Human Movement at the University of Tasmania in Launceston. How did you first become interested in being a teacher? I guess like a lot of people that go into teaching they had a teacher in school that motivated them and inspired them I guess and I had a couple of teachers I was lucky enough to be taught by a Mr Bruce who I think still teaches and he really got me interested in teaching, seeing what it could do for children and how it could motivate them and, and change their lives in some instances so that got me interested in becoming a teacher. For someone wanting to get into teaching what pathway should they be looking at? I think when students go to college they want to study a broad range of subjects. There are a lot of things that you actually study in a Bachelor of Human Movement degree or a Health and PE degree ranging from learning um, anatomy to being able to write um, great essays. So you need to really study a lot of subjects that you think you can do quite well at. Uh, as I believe you need quite a high tertiary entrance score as well to, to get into Bachelor of Human Movement at the moment. Thanks Adam, today's been great talking to you about your role as a teacher. Hopefully this gives students a better idea of what to expect and what pathways to look into.